Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun. You may have heard of me from other games. Usually on my channel, sometimes on other people's, because I get everywhere. Today is a start of a Let's Play, hopefully, of Domino. It's either the start of a Let's Play of Domino, or it's the very first and last episode of Domino. Domino is a gladiatorial combat game where you run your own gladiator house, a ludus, and you fight in extremely brutal combat, either direct control or AI, against other gladiators. Now, I've changed a couple of things. Um, let me turn that off. Basically, I have set it up, as you can see, to you to things where we are running on hard mode, so get less coin, the enemy is a little bit tougher, I get less rewards, and death is more constant. So that's set up. And I've also set up brutal fights. Brutal fights mean the blades are a little bit dulled, so fighting lasts longer. Otherwise you have issues where battles are over in just a few seconds. So hopefully that's done. I'm going to start an endless mode, where we fight to the last man. And I don't know how it works, I've never tried it. Or at least I've never tried it longer than a couple of months. So the sun is setting on the Roman Empire. Violent rebellion erupts in the far territories while political corruption erodes the empire closer to home. Fearing a revolt, the emperor intends to distract the population with the greatest gladiatorial championship the empire has ever seen, promising unimaginable reward of coin and glory. The emperor hopes to revitalise commerce and establish the rule of lords again, but Rome is disintegrating in his clenched fist. So the next uh, game is a schedule. So we're going to start this tutorial just so it gives me a bit of extra resources. Now as you can see here, you can have up to 15 gladiators in your ludus. Now, I'm going to pause this so you can see it's a championship uh, 365 days. That's how long I have usually till the end of the game. It goes pretty fast. But the thing here is, I'm actually going to basically talk about it because I've played a little thing before. It was only three or four episodes, maybe five and a push. Uh... You have to free gladiators to win. So what happens is, at the very end, you defeat the champion if you do well, and then they basically try and kill you for corruption or some other trumped up charge, and your freed gladiators come back to save you. Which means you have to free your most powerful ones occasionally, otherwise you'll get killed at the very end of the game. Now I don't know if that's going to happen, but I'm assuming it probably is. So, that's going to be fun to look forward to. Also, as you can see, we start off with two random gladiators. One is a Thrix, the other one is nothing, but we don't have any of the other types locked. So, they're both Thrix. So, you can give them equipment, armor, weapons, as you can see, you can just choose where it is. And obviously, the better the gear, the more armor they have, and the less damage they take. So, we have to kind of make sure they're good. But you also have to make sure that your guys are good at what they do do because honestly they can die very very quickly so as the heiress to a crumbling ludus which is the um, gladiatorial house in the heart of the roman countryside you see an opportunity to ride this wave of interest in bloodshed to the ends of the empire to burn out in a fabulous spectacle of violence and greed having driven your family's ludus into the ground with poor business decisions and a lack of integrity your father Bequeaths ownership and book is off. Because of course he does. On the dusky road back home to assume the mantle of Lannister, because they always pay their debts, and Domina, a desiccated old woman looks at you knowingly and proclaims they'll never let you win. Yeah, I know. So obviously like five days ago another battle, so I'm gonna sort it out. From your childhood you remember the dusty road leading to the market is your principal means of obtaining resources, water, food and wine, for the upkeep of your looters, and you'll need to shop there fairly soon. So basically you go there, you can hire people who make your gladiators better, and also get food, water and wine, food and water for your people to live, wine to bribe the Magister and the Prelate. Let's just, you know, buy it now. It's only like one gold for a lot of it, so you get a lot in one go, but it takes like a few days for it to regenerate, so you have to make sure you have enough water and food or you'll lose. Now here's the first trainer. A large man with a whip has presented himself at your villa and requests your ear, but only your ear, because he thinks hands are weird. I see that there are games scheduled in a few days and have heard that you plan to attend. I served your father for many years, but when he fell ill and Ludus turned to ruin, I left. 
I didn't want to hang out, I didn't want to make it better, I didn't want to trade anyone. I decided that once he left, because no one was doing anything, I should just take my money. I'd be honoured to return to Lewis and train your men for this battle. Without me, these men will be slow as stupid lambs to slaughter. So you are literally the reason the Ludus fell to ruin, because you did nothing. We're going to enable automatic training, and we're going to have this. So that means my gladiators can't surrender. Some battles won't let me surrender. In fact, most of them won't let me surrender, but it's nice to try. See that you still with the basic management. The Doctore writes a short note and has it delivered. You can change the speed by plus and minus. Because not much for me to do right now, but there you are. Another note from the Doctore arrives. Dominic, it's obvious that you have an intense desire to control the minds of men. Indeed. I can aid you in doing so during the battle if I research the proper methods. So yeah. Once you go over here, the Doctore can mind control, which means I get to directly control a soldier on the field. A gladiator in the arena, whatever. Uh, let's pick it up. Sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse, depending on where you're fighting. I, of course, need to slowly make my guys better. Problem is, of course... If this guy dies, he's taking about 300 gold with him? But I have to fight this, because there's a lot of money. Come on, Lucius. Also, the uh, crowd will swear. I didn't turn that off. So I'm probably going to lose this because, let's face it, the enemy is tougher because hard mode doesn't make the game, like, easy hard. It makes it almost unwinnable hard. As you can see, I'm losing significantly, so Lucius is about to die. There goes Lucius. So that's 300 gold I no longer have. And that will be the theme. So that was fun. An old man enters your velo uninvited. He is well dressed and claims to be a high placed to government official. He introduced himself. I am the magistrate with his evil red eyes. I was impressed with your showing the games yesterday. Your prowess of the Lannister is evident. They may be lacking in experience. So he will give me basic slaves. The legate who turned up will give me better slaves. So obviously I need to hire people from him, but then I need to equip them, I also need to heal them, because some of them are pretty bad, and slowly I hope I don't die. Which is going to be a problem, because I probably will. So we're going to have to hope for the best. Now I can do exhibition matches, which means he likes me more. The problem with that, of course, is people get injured. Oh, this is all my money. If he fails, I've lost again. Come on, Belisarius. He's got better armor than me already. Oh. So, yeah, as you can see, hard mode isn't really hard. It's ever so slightly how dare you think you can play the game. Yeah. Okay, from the crowd, so if he grabs that sword, he can fight. Nope. So yeah, I was going to fight that. I need to get my guys more powerful, and obviously, it's going to take a while, and they're not going to let me. A heavily armed soldier barges to Ludison, and now his army is adorned in very fine detail, and you gather it's an important person where he strikes fear at your slaves. I am Legate, commander of the military detachment stationed nearby. Yeah, shut up, birds. I was impressed with your showing in my games yesterday. If you want to win more bouts in the arena, you'll need better trained warriors. So he gives me better soldiers. Of course, don't have the money because he just killed more of my people. So I have an issue now. A lack of people, a lack of money, and a lack of chance. So we need to attend the pit fight because otherwise we're going to die. Luckily, it gave us an unarmed one and we get a slave, some water and some that. So we're now doing pit fights. Which of course means we're fighting more... Well, well weaker opponents, hopefully. There we go. Yay, well done, Belisarius. You killed an unarmed man. So far, it's better than anyone else has ever done. Your only father calls you. You show great promise as a Lannister. You are natural. No doubt you seek glory in Rome. In order to qualify for great championship games, you need to win some regional championships. So this is where we fight people like heroes and so on. Of course, that is slightly far ahead of where we currently are. What if our people all being dead? Rolling around. We love a longer... Okay, Brutal Fights is on. Yes, I know. Where's he going? Go there. Uh, 
Uh, no, look, look at this. Why would I fight this? I should have taken the piss. It literally put, oh, I'll pay for that. It's literally making me, with my weakened people, fight multiple opponents. So yeah, it's on hard mode, it's uh, unfair. Unfair. And we're back in. So I've uh, dropped the difficulty down. As you can probably see, it's now normal. I've also, you'll like to know, updated to the uh, beta DLC. So now we have access to the other four classes, like Velite, Sagittarius, Scissor, which is Daggers, Charioteer. So we have access to the other guys. So we're going to obviously build up. I will be prepping. I'm also going to be getting their AI up first, because quite frankly, the AI in these guys is terrible. And we will be slowly evolving my people. Now, obviously, at the very beginning, it's going to take a little while to get anywhere useful. But I believe in us. Not as much as I used to. Uh, steal a weapon. But I believe in us. So I'm getting the agent because it's only 13 coins and you can probably steal a very good weapon. I'm also going to be getting some random slaves. Because we will be needing cannon fodder. Come on. Obviously, if I don't level these guys up, they don't get any weaponry or equipment. So, pretty good. Uh, I need you to like me. Who do you, what do you steal? Okay, yours vaguely known. So we're going to use him occasionally, build up, and if need be, sacrifice a gladiator. That way they don't hate us, and we don't really lose anything. But yeah, fighting a spear-armed uh, netter this early on, death. So some runs I've like done really well, other runs I've been like meeting major death. The RNG is all over the place. Like my test run I got to the championship. The 17 runs before that, uh, to get anywhere. But yeah, he's got the AI up, so they're smarter. Pit fight. We're sending in you. Congrats. And we'll be trying to level up at least one guy to be very powerful, but of course, we can't rely on them because they die quickly. Yeah, we can have archers in the game now. Don't let him do it. Why are you running away? Oh my god. If he had lost, I would honestly have thrown a mouse to the window. Okay, so he's stolen that. Oh my god. Your aggro is 70. You're very aggressive and not very evasive. Just hit people. Uh, steal some armor. But yeah, we need these guys to obviously be vaguely useful. So always AI first, then we'll see what they're like aggressive, turtle, stuff like that. Like this guy's very aggressive and turtle, he's gonna be a Thrix. Which means he now can get equipment. Oh I'm dumb. But yeah, it's all about leveling up our people. Quartz, course, course, 13 gold to get anyone, it's not too much. It's annoying, but it's not too much. Okay, here's AI is fully there, then go for strength to make him stronger. This one's going to take a little bit longer, unfortunately. But I think we should be G to G. But if you can get me any better ones, I'd very much like it. Yeah, the AI lead is terrible. He's finally done. He's still learning. Luckily, defense and things are happening because of this guy. Which is very much needed. The uh, archers and so on going on as well now. Hmm. Blade control. I'll take it. Give me aim defense. Okay, so you are pretty basic. You're a dark figure, steal a weapon. 
Uh, what, what are you? You are aggro, you're turtle and evasive. So let's give you a Sagittarius, which is an archer. Not the best, but you know, a few extra peasantry on the field will be good. Might even get to name them if they survive long enough. But yeah, we will be sacrificing people repeatedly, often and continuously. Still injured, not worth it. You're not good enough. You're still learning. Well, sacrificial. You could probably take him, but I don't know how badly my guy is doing. I mean, headbutting him in the chest wasn't my way to go about that. If he'd run around, maybe someone had thrown him something? Like, that was his choice there. Don't know why, but there you go. He headbutted the enemy in the chest. But whatever. Okay, you steal another weapon. Uh, Lamb to the end of the barracks. Okay, he's better. Just lost even more health. Of course it was the one I'm trying to heal. Where's this going? He's gonna run away. Some basic armed people. Like, we need to get some better gear. Time. We're not doing well, are we? None of these are worth are worthy of getting a name. The birds even agree with me there. Uh, reject. So yeah, before like every single battle was like very unarmed, and now I'm getting battles where it, well I fought one guy who was unarmed and he nearly beat me. My gods! So he's getting stronger. He's okay. These guys are obviously still learning how to be AI, which is a problem. What have we got? Weapons lose percent less HP. Not really useful. Your arming, which is good. Okay, randomly giving like special abilities here and there. We might survive. Championship is coming. This is still eternal. Okay. So I don't have to fight any of these battles, like I say, but. I need the money. Also, I have to reject. I'm running out of resources. I don't have the money to do an actual fight. So you for eight. How much is it going to be for a fight? Three. Mm, eh, not too much. So I am very much looking. Yeah, you're not getting my guys. I'm very much looking for easy kills. Which either comes across really well or really not so much. That's the problem with random. We might have nothing happen. We might get a really good fight. Problem is, uh, do we know? Do we know? Do we know? Do we really know? We don't. He's getting stronger. Okay, he's unarmed. Go. Money and a slave. Come on. He's got really nice. Why can't we just steal his armor? Oh my god, took his arm off. That pauldron did not help him. We got a useful guy as well. I say useful, he's just got equipment, but you know, he's useful enough. Uh, grab a weapon. I just fired him immediately. Oh no, don't tell me because I fired him, he's gone forever. I have made a mistake and he's never coming back. Well, fun. Okay. That's uh, a slight problem. 
That's a major problem. His AI is nearly bloody complete already. Good aggro too. It'll actually be useful. We'll have to send, we'll have to send one of these guys out to die. Might be a good crop of gladiators, gladiatories. So, because this is endless, we don't need to better so there's like three people. We don't actually need to fight the final fight. We can just like send a couple of sacrifices and come at it in the next year, which gives us more chances of doing things, of course. Two. Okay, that's only these two. See how well they do. They've chained us. If he'd killed one of my people, I swear, often and frequently, there would have been no survivors. So yeah, we just have to get that up. You need to be oming. Okay, you need to be strength. I'm going to make you a Valite. It does have throwing weapons. Huh. Very interesting. But yeah, this is obviously going to start upgrading. I don't think I'm ever going to get that guy back again unless I like... Ah, he's back. Never mind, I'm not going to get him back. There he is. Steal me a weapon. Okay, there we go. Uh, kick him in the groin and run. I never cease to impress, because I never start. One more day. I think we're doing okay. We have actually a good team going on. We just need to actually equip them with weapon. No. He's slightly too powerful. Don't nab it. I literally just hired him. Be useful. Stop dying. Apparently a weapon is harder to get than armour. Is he stealing out of an actual god's hand or something? This guy's been meditating since the beginning. Okay, wooden gladius. That was such a waste. Let's go nimble stance. Got his sheath. Uh, Twelve days. I think I might actually be okay. Nimble stuns. Three more days. Health's going up nicely. I honestly don't even know if they need strength for the bow. I don't know what the bow needs. It's new to me. A lot of hits there, man. I'm almost willing to name you. Almost. Which means he's going to die. Not bet you are, so I actually want one of them. There you go. Paid for him. Oh, never mind, he died. Get me some armour. So we do have multiple uh, teams active, as it were. We can actually start deploying multiple groups onto the field. 
Admittedly, most of them don't have much in the way of armor, and some don't have much in the way of weapons, but we can deploy multiples. Oh, nearly out of water. Okay. Uh, I like you. You should like me. And we have our sacrifice in the corner. Welcome, sacrifice. Of course, the agent was caught stealing. Okay, give me... Do I really want to go for automatic yield? I have never once had my people yield in this game. It's very weird. Sagittarius with a bow. I don't know how this is going to work. I might actually lose this one. Get to range! Actually hit him! I was genuinely expecting him to die by not actually getting in range. Indefatigable too. Glad you don't require food or water. There you go. Don't want these guys. These guys will be my powerhouses. So, we're getting there. We have upgrades going on. We obviously have occasional theft going on. Okay, you need equipment. You need to be prepped. Like that. 124. What about you? You require medium hours times 9. Yes. Can't upgrade the bow. I guess that's not in the game yet. It's interesting how you can only upgrade certain parts of certain guards. I don't know if that's actually, you know, accurate or just purely for a game perspective. I'm really curious. Okay, you're finally done. Into strength. You should be meditating. Have you just been running constantly? That explains a lot, actually. You're a man of a certain race, we'll leave you to it. You're still giving everyone bonuses. Chainmail. Ooh. He'll be useful in combat. That net, if he backs up someone else, will be massively useful. We should get his AI up. Sacrifice. Proud of you. He's even chained him. Literally chained it. Oh, this guy's better than the other guy. This sacrifice survived. Intriguing. Three glads. Okay, let's bring in you and you. Let's actually get these guys levelled up. For a bit of combat. I can do three on one, yes. So he has nine mediums and he fights for nine. Oh my god. Hello, welcome. You did really well, Aruncius. You might even get named. But unfortunately, I'll be in the next one. I've been the Fallen Shogun. Sadness is going to happen. People are going to die. Everyone's going to hate us. By the way, ciao for now. It's be awesome. Be epic. And I will be seeing you. Oh, you get the close range gear, don't, gear, don't you? Wait. You get to throw three? What? Next time. Hmm. Looks, look at that carrying two of them now. 